Hey beautifuls, I, I've been deep in the human history again, in a very different way. And what I'm uncovering is kind of interesting. I don't know if I should touch on it in this live stream or not, because it might end up being the entire topic. So maybe I will leave it. Let's bring this up. Um, maybe I'll leave it for another topic, another topic, another day. I'm just going to share this. That's why my voice is coming up <laughs> double time. Just trying to bring it up so I can share this and then I shall be present with you. We're going to do psychic readings this evening or today, wherever you are around the world. Okay, so. edit this hi hi I just need to double check where I'm sharing this in the correct places yes perfect see I was doing it automatically and if I if I think about it, then I do so much automatically. Okay. I don't know if I should talk about it or not. I think it's for another live stream because I think that I'll get distracted with it and we'll go down a rabbit hole. <laughs> anyway, so I'll save it for another live stream. How about that? Um, and again, I feel like this is a bit too high. So we're going to start with psychic readings tonight. The Shadow of the Archangels only has less than 48 hours to go for the early bird pricing. And then we start on the 1st of September. Now, I know it's a long way away. However, I felt guided to release the Shadow of the Archangels now. It was so strong coming through. And I'm like, okay, okay, getting it out there. I'm putting it out there. I got it. Um, so it's a 16 week journey. It's definitely big, deep and long. Um, I'm a long haul girl. I'm someone who is in it for the long haul, who does the work, who goes deep. Um, speaking of deep, I've just come out of a deep distance healing. Like it was deep. It was like beyond past life deep, right? Past lives is deep. And I'm like, cool, let's like do psychic readings, right? And then like all the cards that I've pulled up, I'm like, no, we need like the deep decks today. <laughs> so when I do psychic readings today, they might be a little bit, I don't know if long is the right word, but we're going deep. So we've got things like dreams of um, Gaia Tarot. I've got the animal magic transference um, cards. We've got the El Goliath Tarot deck um, going deep, deep, deep into the abyss, into the origins i feel like this is an origin home like your star origin your soul origin home and like i said with um <laughs> what i was just at, at the start of the live stream i was like i've been deep in the human history again in a very different way um so i feel like this is this is a deep reading that we're going to dive into we've got the mermaids which is always deep we've got isis we've got the celtic tree oracle kuan yin We've got the fairy blessing cards, so let's get started, shall we? What's up, baby? You wanna come up here? What's going on? What's going on? He's back, thank you so much for all your prayers. My Cheshire cat, my Cheshire cat, my big boonie. <laughs> Look at his big feet. He's such a big boy, huh? He's so talkative. He usually sits on my seat, so I'll just pop him there. <laughs> all right, so let me bring the comments up here. Uh, and then we shall get started. So for those of you who are joining for the first time, how I work with my psychic readings is I'll say, if you can say, um, yes, please, I would love a reading. And um, I'll wait till there's yes, please list come up. You need to stay live for your reading because otherwise it's not fair for people who then jump off. Um, like if you jump off and they're waiting around and you're not here, so you have to stay live. So if you put in some yes pleases and we shall start, right? Yes, my beautiful kitty. If you're wondering what these are on me, I'm not sure if you saw my blog, but these are frequency patches. So um, helping me to heal and shift some deep things at the moment. So yes, all right, awesome. So welcome for all the newbies. All right, so Tamika Gray. Um, your name jumped out at me. 
going to start with the Oracle of the Mermaid. So if you um, are still listening, listening carefully, because there will always be a message for you in some way, shape or form. So this is for Tamika Gray. I think it's Tamika. Yeah, Tamika Gray. Uh, the Mermaids. <laughs> I'm like, it's itchy. And then I'm like, damn, it's behind the little <laughs> thing. Um, Tamika Gray, falling in love. How beautiful is this card? How friggin' beautiful is this card? So Tamika, I feel like you've had a shift. I feel like the light has finally come in or maybe you're still searching for the light. I'm like, ah, oh, I feel like you have had a shift. Um, by the way, the mermaids are all about diving deep into the subconscious. And I feel like Tamika, you have had a shift. You have, I wanna say, you, I feel like you have been diving deep. You have been looking within and I feel like you've been doubting yourself about that. It's not like you're doubting yourself about looking within and diving deep. I feel like you've been, I feel like with what you've found, you're doubting it only in a sense that you're like, this is completely different. Can I really trust this space, right? Um, the Homeland card is also the bottom card of the deck and that she's riding on a turtle, well, swimming with a turtle. And that's, the turtle is very much about connecting to your, your earth connection. Yeah, and I feel like you've really come into a different space within yourself. Um, and it's a very grounded, very solid, stable place. And I feel like, I want to say you're questioning, like, you know, I feel like you're sort of looking over the sea, like, you know, you're like the light's there and you're like reaching for the light, but it's almost like, can I trust the light? Can I trust this space? Like, you know, you can, but you're doubting or questioning this space around, okay, like, is it really solid home? Is it solid grounded home? And I want to say it is because whilst this is like a relationship card, of course, um, the falling in love, it says kissing the divine in another, kissing yourself, like, and it's like the balancing of the masculine and feminine within, yeah, the deep grounded aspects. And I feel like if you are looking for love, I feel like there is space on the horizon. I don't know. Are you in a relationship? Can you just let me know? I wonder if you're in a relationship or marriage. There's something about a marriage there. If you can just let me know. Oh, I better check these comments here. Okay. Yes, like, are you in a relationship? Is that yes, you are? Is it a relationship or a marriage? Even though they're technically both the same. Relationship, yeah, okay. Um, so I'm wondering if, like, part of the doubt or the questioning has been about that, or do you feel like it is fairly solid ground? Like, I want to say if you have been doubting it, I'm like, can you not? Because um, it feels very solid and very grounded, and maybe there's been a shift in, in it that you're like, Maybe that's where I'm picking up. Like, is it solid ground? Is it really? Can I really trust this? And I'm wondering if you feel like it has been different to what you've had before. But I feel like the strong message is like, yeah, you can trust it. And I feel like you need to like continue on this space. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm wondering if that makes sense for you there. And I'm curious. I just feel like there's something else. Like, yeah, if you can just let me know. Like, have you been questioning it and have you been doubting it? Because I'm like, can you not? Because I just feel like it is like, I feel like there's a shift in it. Yeah, there's definitely a shift there around it. Um, okay. So I'll just wait for your response there. And because I only just pulled these yeses, um, for um, Deanne, is it Deanne? And also Catherine Deanne. Like, there's two Deannes in a way. <laughs> um, Dean, Deanne? Um, so I pulled this card for the next person and I feel like it's for you both. This is from the dreams of Gaia. Um, and so, so just going back to Tamika. Yes, it does. I've been working on myself with meditation. I feel like this, I think I'm still alive. I feel like this, um, like is this, I want to say it's like, it feels like a new feeling for you. And I feel like that's where you're like, ah, can I trust it? But I feel like you've come home and you're like, the like over the sea, like I'm like, no, it's here. Like <laughs> you are home. This is your home. Like you have got it home. And when I pulled another card for confirmation, I was like, yep, see, keep going, you know? Um, so definitely, definitely with that there. So yeah. And I want to say like when we do, you know, like, as you said, you're focusing on yourself and really coming into yourself, like that'll change the dynamics of the relationship for sure. Right. 
but it's like it's a good thing it's a good thing that you're shifting in through and around and grounding in a whole new vibration right so it feels like no you need to keep going with that don't i want to say don't doubt that in a way right um so for deanne and Catherine deanne um this here and this is one of the water cards i think it's interesting there's a lot of um sort of similar messages around um yeah, can definitely take it as you're in reading. So obviously I won't be able to get to everyone on this call, right? And I forgot to say this, but when I do psychic readings, um, if you if I don't pick you specifically, always listen in because there's always a message, right? And there'll there'll be one that you just like, you'll be like, oh, that's the message for me too, right? So Tamika says, thank you very much, was spot on, yeah, perfect. Um, so yeah, you're so welcome. Is that Prayad? I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. The other thing too, if you catch a replay of my psychic readings, right, or on my website, there's a page um, of psychic readings and oracle healings. So if you're like, oh, I need like an answer now, what's going on? Like you can always just go to that page on my website and it's just like all my previous like psychic readings that I've done. Well, most of them, right? And so there's a whole list of videos on there. And basically what you can do is you can go to that page or you can come to my Facebook page and you can just look at my page and you can just sort of ask, ask the question, like ask the question in your mind, say it out loud. You scroll down the page, you pick a video, you stop on the video, you like just scroll the little toggle across, just wherever, you know, and you just stop it there and you press play and it'll be a message for you if you're listening carefully, right? So there's always messages. If you're um, needing support, you can just always do that, right? They're always there available. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna have a look in the book. So um, some of these cards, like because they're so deep and I wanna say long and big, um, I don't really know all of them off by heart. So just bear with me while I bring this card up in the book so I can just scan over and see what messages jump out about this one. I know that this is the water element. Um, so for Deanne and Catherine Deanne, um, when I was looking at this card for you, so two, okay, so a bit like I was sharing in the last reading, you know, if you look closer, I don't know if you can see, she's got like a third eye on her, like above at the top of her crown there. And I feel like this is very much like, can you not doubt? Don't, don't doubt yourself right now. Like look at the light beaming in on her. This is not a time to doubt or question intuition. And the, the thing that I'm getting is like, if it's not yet here, but you see it in your mind, you see it in your third eye. So yeah, you can't really see it on the video, I don't think. But there is a third eye at the top that she's kind of like looking up with, right? As I always say when we talk about a third eye chakra, it's your three eyes. Yeah, your, your third eye and your two eyes. So you're looking with your three eyes and you might be like, how do I do that? And I'm like, you just affirm that you're looking with your three eyes, okay? And it doesn't make logical sense, okay? Your brain will try and figure that out. But if you just say, okay, let me see what I'm seeing with my three eyes, right? My two physical eyes and my spiritual eye. And that will help you to like tap into the deeper realms. It'll help you to see through to the truth. It'll help you to go deeper in a way, right? Um, even if not at a conscious, uh, logical understanding level, your subconscious and your intuition is like reading it. Um, so with this, it's like, can you see... I want to say, can you see the light? Like now is not the time to doubt. And if you can't physically see the manifestations, if you can see them in your vision, if you can, you know, like when we're working on manifesting, um, so this, like when we're working on manifesting, sometimes we, we're like, is it working? Or like we start to doubt or we're like, this stuff isn't like looking, you know, like, you know, it's not working, right? Catherine says, I had a dream about looking from, through my three eyes last night. Um, a side note, has anyone else had like really vivid dreams this week and really like, like I've had lots of deja vu, my dreams have been really vivid and I feel like the veil is really thin at the moment. Oh, I know we've just stepped into the Lionsgate portal. Um, so, um, that's amazing, the three eyes. <laughs> if you need any more confirmation. <laughs> so when we're looking at manifesting, right, it's like there's a vision, there's a dream, we have that. But it's also tapping into the heart, which is the feelings, right? And so when you tap into your feelings, it's like when you see the vision, what is the feelings that it brings up, right? Because that's that's what the manifestation is. This is like bringing it into the physical, right? Now, a lot of people don't hold that long enough, 
So we might sit in meditation for 10 or 15 minutes or whatever it is, or do our journaling and we're like, cool. And then we just go back to our normal life. And so for like, if you look over like a 24 hour period, right? It's a clock. <laughs> um, and, and you're meditating for like 10 minutes or 20 minutes, or you're doing a half an hour practice or whatever it is in your manifesting stuff, right? Um, that is like not even 10% of your entire day's feelings, right? And as I talk about it, it's these um, micro moments, right? It's the moment to moment, the breath to breath, like day to day in the moment all the time. Can you be holding that vibration all the time, right? So when you drop back down, can you hold that? Now, that's not really the purpose of this card, right? It's not what the main message is, not about manifestation in this card, right? But I'm getting this really strong message for you with that. The three eyes, can't you see the light? Like it, what you can see with the light, what you can see with your three eyes is real. That's the vision you need to hold, right? Stop, breathe, take everything in. Yes, come back to the present moment. Where's the present moment? In your heart, yeah? Um, so I'm seeing new people join live. Ooh, welcome, welcome, welcome. So for Deanne and Catherine Deanne, the actual meaning of this card, right? It says, open your heart. Past experiences leave an emotional blu <laughs> blueprint. <laughs> leave an emotional imprint is what it says, right? Shine a light on the source of your emotional pain. So your blockages, if you think there's any, is actually the emotions from your past and you've got a closed heart. So you're seeing the truth, your vision is there. And as we're just talking, so we're saying, we're like, okay, but what are the feelings about that? So you might see it, but are you feeling what it would feel like if you had that already in your life? Probably not, right? And that's why I feel like the message of this card is to clear out the emotional pain. To even, don't even have to clear it out. You just have to feel the feelings of the what your three eyes of vision is showing you. Do you know what I mean? Because that's how we bring it into reality is the feelings. Yeah? Um, okay. The effect of past experiences on the present moment. So when we do have a closed heart and we are holding on to that emotional pain, it's kind of like the vision will stay up here and we'll like be living from past experiences, right? The weight of our emotions, emotional enlightenment, the process of becoming lighter. Um, ignorance is not bliss denial anyone um what is it turning a blind eye so we don't want to turn a blind eye we want to open and look with our three eyes right um break the cycle remove the emotional hooks remember on my live stream the other day our uh, kookaburra is laughing kookaburra is manifestation of purpose oh my goodness that's what we're talking about right manifestation of purpose yeah is like the feelings the feelings of our reality is what manifests in our reality yeah um, breaking the cycle, removing the emotional hook. So my live stream that I did the other day around the 2D graphite, graphene, all the stuff, ingredients, blah, blah, blah. Um, the emotional hooks, right, is relational to the world stuff. It's also relational to past uh, relationships. Yeah, so removing the... Um, the emotional hooks. So getting really strongly to keep reminding you guys that we've just stepped into the Lionsgate portal, right? Which is a, a total energetic difference and you probably felt a difference from July to now. Um, maybe in the past like couple of days has been um, like a little bit of a like bumpy landing coming in and I was feeling this probably about a week ago. I was saying to one of my teammates, um, my team members, that um, the energy feels like Oh, I need to share this. So the energy felt like, you know, when a plane comes down to land and you feel the mechanics of the, the, the wheels, like, like, you know, the, the wheels are coming down, so preparing for landing, right? And the energy felt like that, but not necessarily like we're coming down to land. It just was like, oh, you know, there's a shift. And I felt like that was a dimensional shift or a frequency shift, or we're just shifting you know, it was very distinctive energetics, right? A week ago, yeah, yeah, and you've leveled out now. I was in a bad place. So this shifting of dimensions, like if you can imagine a plane's going, yeah, yeah, cool, we're like flying, but okay, we're coming down to land. And you know, when we're getting ready to land, there's all stuff going on and all the plane and we're going to get ready and sort out and wake up and all the things, right? It's turbulence, yeah. <laughs> so, and it's interesting. And now we've leveled out again, right? We've come into a different dimension. And it's so important to remember this. Now, the other thing, so I, I don't watch them in full, but I keep my eye on it. I haven't actually seen it for a, a good, maybe six or eight months or something, right? So on uh, YouTube, there's um, Dutch, du Dutch Synths. I don't know how to pronounce it. 
correctly, he does um, like all the earthquake seismic watch thing. Um, I don't know, he like does all the, the earthquakes, right? I haven't seen his stuff for ages. It popped up in my feed just in the past couple of days. So on the 29th of July, which is just as we're coming out of, like as that sort of thing started, the bumpy turbulence um, was the largest quake on the planet in years, he said. Um, massive seismic unrest spreads worldwide. Now I did flick through just the little bits, you know, I always just sort of flick through and stop where I'm intuitively guided to stop. Now, remember, I always say with my psychic readings, just skim through and see, you know, especially if you watch a replay or you see it come up, you can just skim through and move the little toggle across and just intuitively stop and listen, right? Now, I did that, I always do that with videos in a way, but unless I'm called to watch the whole thing, but the um, the earthquake one and the bit that I watched, um, he shows all these different, you know, way they measure it and everything like that. And he shows like a wave pool, like when it, um, you know, it, it it erupts like what is what happens with the plates and what happens with the ocean and how it affects the plates and all that sort of thing to create the earthquake now what's interesting about this largest quake on the planet in years is i don't know it, it like it was like a a one that sort of came up but it i don't know what it was i need to watch the whole thing but it like it kind of rippled out and it, then it created these waves and it just went and like so it was like deep like he was saying it was deep it was deep I just freaking came out of a distance healing that was like deep, <laughs> it was so deep. And I've got all this like deep like cards with us tonight. So, well today, if you're, wherever you're watching from. Um, so I guess I just wanted to share that because there's obviously some deep shifts going on, right? Now, if we look at the world of what's going on, there's some places that are like, eat, they're on lockdown. And then there's some people, like some countries, and you won't see about this on the normal platforms, right? Because they're censoring it all. There's some, protests and stuff going on that you know the things have just wiped all the stuff and in Canada there's all these um you know like court cases being won um it's been thrown out because the ch chief health person couldn't friggin prove that they isolated the virus like it's like there's all the truth coming out now when we look at this deep stuff surfacing you can't censor like the truth you can't suppress the truth what do I always say the truth always surfaces now isn't that significant with the earthquakes and the deepness going on, right? This is so significant, right? For whatever reason, I needed to share that. Let me just check these comments because I just missed them. <laughs> um, so Deanne says, perfect. Thank you so much. Perfect timing. So glad I caught this. Appreciate you so much. I can definitely see the light and feel it. I'm just learning how to hold it. Okay. The way that we hold the light is that we feel it. So these stuck emotions that this is referring to, and this is interesting, right? These old energetic hooks, the stuck emotions um the past experiences leave an emotional imprint shine a light on the source of pain so how do we hold the light is what you said right i can feel it i'm just learning how to hold it we hold the light by feeling the darkest of dark feelings okay um so these current cards are the dreams of gaia tarot by raven raven Philane. <laughs> Raven, it's literally pronounced Raven. Um, she's a beautiful artist in, um, she's actually in Australia, actually. Um, so we learn to hold it by riding the waves of the darkness. We, When we feel the emotions and we're not cut off from it, um, when we feel the depth and we feel the darkness and we feel the hurt and we feel the pain with conscious awareness that we know we're feeling it to heal it, that's where the light comes in. Right, as they say, like, what do they say? The crack is where the light comes in or something. Um, you know, and that's how we learn to hold it. Yeah. So seeing with your three eyes is really seeing the truth of the feelings of, you know, and it that allows it to come down, if that makes sense. Yeah. Catherine says, I've been practicing staying in the moment and feeling and walking through feelings. Yeah, and sometimes those dark feelings are really uncomfortable to feel, yeah. Feeling the darkness too. Yeah, that's how we evolve. That's how we shift. That's how we f shift physical disease in the body is we feel that because all physical d disease in the body is emotional pain being suppressed. And, and it's so suppressed that it hits the physical body, right? It's sitting out here in your aura. And if you don't feel it, right, which society's taught not to feel, okay, we're taught to shut it down. And so it's a big unlearning process that goes through, let alone feeling safe enough to feel the darkest of feelings, okay, and be okay with that, right? And and so if you don't feel it when it's out here, it'll hit your physical body and manifest as physical illness. 
Now I kind of laugh at times when I see posts from like other entrepreneurs going, oh, the spiritual community is like, you know, fucked up. Didn't you know that was like an old thing? And I'm like, man, you've missed the entire point. <laughs> like if you don't feel it when it's out here, it, you'll get physically sick, right? There's a lot of people that I see get physically sick and like I rarely get sick. Why? Because I'm crying a lot because I know that that's shifting stuff so I don't get sick, right? Um, Doreen says, I'm not quite sure how to feel all the emotions that I feel with my daughter dying. Yeah, you just cur cur curl up in the ball and you feel it. And that's really uncomfortable because we're taught that that's not okay. Because when you're a toddler, you're probably taught that if you keep crying, I'm gonna give you something to cry about. And that would have happened and it would have just totally shut you down, right? Um, so yeah, dreams have been extremely vivid. Yes, it's so interesting, right? Yeah, I've never thought to ask to see with the three eyes. Yeah, it's powerful, right? Because even just like, it's a way to strengthen your clairvoyance and your intuition by just really connecting with your three eyes like that. Um, so yes, yes, yes. All right, just scanning through these comments here. Uh, okay, where are we up to? Ignorance is bliss until you hit the ground. <laughs> yeah, until you wake up, right? And then you have to see. <laughs> Can't turn a blind eye anymore. <laughs> yeah. That's how exactly how it felt. Plain in turbulence. Yeah, right? Up and down, then boom, woke up. Feeling completely different and leveled is so interesting. It was definitely the feelings. And so I guess, okay, the point of me sharing about the earthquake is to really understand that as an empath, we feel the planets, we feel... Um, the moon, we feel the water movements, we feel the earthquakes next door, we feel our neighbors next door, we feel our family lineage stuff, we feel our partner stuff, we feel our stuff, we feel everything, okay? And I really pointed that out with the earthquakes, I knew that was the reason, um, to understand that we, a lot of us felt that, you know, you guys were like, yeah, that's what it felt like, plain turbulence, like you guys felt it, right? On a deep, deep level, deep, we're talking deep tonight. <laughs> um, and, and I'm pointing out, that there was the deepest earthquake in years there. I can't remember when he said, um, I thought that he did say, um, I don't know, that's what he said. I'm not gonna name a number of years, but it was a, a lot of years that that's like the biggest thing, right? Um, no, April, we didn't miss your reading. In between clients, you have to stay live for your reading. Um, okay, so Catherine says, been practicing staying in the moment. Oh yeah, we said that one. Yeah, okay, checking these comments. We grow and evolve through such experiences. Yes, we definitely do. That's where wisdom is born. Yeah. Uh, Jay says, Jay Sar says, but aren't we allowed to set ourselves free from pain and go back to spirit world? Um, in what in what way do you mean there? So when you say, aren't we allowed to set ourselves free from the pain and go back to spirit world? So I'm not sure exactly what you're talking about there. I'm wondering if you're yeah, if you can just give me a bit more information, what you mean there, Jaysa. Um, Because I couldn't read that a couple of different ways, your comment. Doreen says, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, we said that one. Yeah. Um, Doreen, I would definitely get mentor support during this time. Like, walking through that on your own. Yeah. Yeah, I'd definitely be getting mentor support. That's what I help people with is the deepest grief. Yeah, so you can definitely book in. 21 day shifter program guys actually by the way um is available for the month of august we are celebrating five years of tuesday tarot which is like huge in five years i've never ever felt um mr tuesday right in five years my um 21 day shifter program is usually two and a half thousand dollars it is 555 for the 21 days only for the month of august so if you're wanting that deep support um it is unlimited text message and voice message via telegram plus like readings plus all the things you need to heal in that space and shift out of the deepest darkness so you can gain clarity to get back on with your life and your purpose and start to unravel what it is you're even here for right so my 21 day shifter program let me pop in the link for that that is one of the best ways to be supported um, yeah, you got a support group. Perfect. Um, so support group, um, also working one-on-one, -on -one, um, with a mentor is, you know, it's like having, having the mother, having a best friend that you've never had before. So definitely recommend that as well. Um, okay. So I just put the link in for the 21 day shift of there. Cause yeah, dealing with death and losing someone is like the biggest thing on the planet. Big, big time. 
We're taught to run from emotions and not feel them and accept them. And yeah, exactly, right? Um, it's so important to feel to heal. So prayer says, I'm not the body, not even the mind. We can use this mantra to be free from our mind. Yeah. And it, I want to say like, it takes a skill, right? To, you know, because when we, you know, there's a lot of people that say, we well, you shouldn't feel your emotions because then you're going to like manifest it. And it's like, ah, there's a different level to it. And there's different skills and different understanding. Because if you're ignoring your emotions and trying to slap positivity over the top of it, that's different to consciously feeling to shift through it to raise your vibration, right? Because if you're going to, um, you know, like ignore your emotion, that's what's going to manifest if you ignore it. It's the turning the blind eye to it, right? But if we look at it with the light, that's going to transform it. Yeah, that's that's the differentiation there. And it takes, um, it takes, I want to say it takes practice. It's a skill. It's definitely a skill, right? So Dorian said it'd be nice if a map was drawn out. Yeah. Yeah. And like I said, you know, like the thing that will help you get over this is time. Like give yourself 18 months of crying. That's how you're going to get over it. Like no joke. Yeah. And sometimes it's hard to even comprehend that. Hence why it's important to be supported through that time. Yeah. Yes, the healing man once told me to get out of your head and back to your heart. Exactly. <laughs> Reality when it's all about. <laughs> yeah, it's a heart. The logo is the heart. Okay. Yes, all the people that come to work um, were almost difficult and stagnant. Yeah, it's so interesting, right? Feeling all of that. Yep, some days feel so lost in it. Yeah, so Donna, it's the same thing, right? It's so important to be supported through it because it, you can literally like give yourself 18 months. Like, no joke, right? Yeah. Okay. Feed the animals, all kinds, shapes, sizes. Yes. 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 Yeah. Definitely. Twenty-one day shift of program. How do I feel about Swedenborg's videos? I don't know who that is. So yeah, I haven't actually heard of that. Of him, if it is. Okay. All right. Another round of yes, please. Let's go again. Speaking of animals, let's dive in to this beautiful transference healing, the animal magic cards. Ah, yes, the afterlife. So, yeah, there's definitely lots of videos um, and books about the afterlife. Um, highly recommend, um, it's a bit of an old book, but um, Life on the Other Side by Sylvia Brown. Um, really, really detailed, really, really awesome. So yeah, I do recommend that as well. All right, Tamara. Tamara, get it jumped off the page. And this one jumped out and check it out. It's the lion. Look at it. It's very, like, look at all that gold. It's interesting the distance healing that I did was deep in the solar plexus. Funny about that. We're like in trust intuition, which is deep in the solar plexus. <laughs> so yeah, all this beautiful gold here. Um, it's got a bit of an Egyptian feel, but I don't think it is. Um, it's very like king of the, uh, I don't know if king of the castle is the right word. So you turn that up a bit. So very king of the castle. Um, can see like the crown uh, down the bottom and some trident, but it's very something similar, um, about that. So the lion underneath is the swan. So this is, um, a beautiful deck and a quite new even though i've wanted them for years i got them a little while ago i just haven't used them <laughs> they're sitting there funny about that so let me just have a look what lion um i feel like this is before i'm even reading it is very much about you taking back your power of course but there's something about you leading the pack there's something about you coming into your power and leading the pack this is a very different sort of energy this one um egyptian here we go <laughs> The Egyptians associate lion with power, wealth, and Syrian energy. Lion also personifies the cat, Egypt's most sacred animal. Carved statues of lions are commonly found on guarding places, bridges, temples, and tombs. And in the case of the Sphinx, eternity. The cat or lioness, goddess, Bas, and Sekhmet are popular divinities of Egypt. So a lot of Egyptian energy here. Um... 
even though they do talk about the Chinese mythology, lion chases away evil spirits and brings good luck and celebrates happy occasions, new beginnings. Uh, okay, let's see. What is the main message here? You may be undergoing an empowerment process. That's what we just said, right? Lion is all about psychic readings. Oh my God. Lion is all about the solar plexus, right? And trust intuition. Oh, look, there's the leadership thing. You may be, you may need to, you may need support to step into a leadership role or find resolutions to existing concerns. Uh, you could be feeling overwhelmed by having to push through limitations and stand in your truth with your feelings, desires, or belief system, um, which I know you've done in the whole like first half of this year, right? Line helps you to believe in yourself, honor what is important to you, and believe that you deserve the opportunities that are beginning to come into manifestation. I feel like you have done the work and now's the time to deserve it, to receive it. Interesting uh, feeling that. I'm just going to have a look at the sun. Uh, something about a neighbor is coming through as well. So Swan is you could be at a turning point in your life, which I know you've got um, some stuff going on as well. Big shifts and new beginnings. It says you could be seeking to balance your emotions, develop your intuition, break down illusions, see inner beauty, accept transformation, or are trying to change and understand your future. So I feel like you're grounding that down and really, I want to say, taking the lead in that as well. Um, and this feels like a, a lot of grace. Yeah, it feels like it's happening with ease and flow and grace rather than in the past. It's been like push and hard and oh, stressed out. And it's like, oh, it's just like, cool. We can just sail on through this now. Like, like, yep, I got this. Yeah. Um, coming in goosebumps, meditating with the Egyptian energy. So whether that's a particular goddess Maybe it's the lions itself, um, covered in goosebumps, looking at the stars at nighttime, um, even for a few minutes, I feel like is really going to be potent for you in activating something. There's something with the stars. There's something with um, really like bringing that into fruition or something there. Um, so, yeah, I think meditating yeah, pick a, pick a deity, pick a uh, Egyptian deity or the land or the pyramids or an animal or something, it feels like. Um, yeah, goosebumps also. It's a strong energy coming through, right? The lion is also associated with reality awareness as well. Um, it's deeply connected to the inner circle and life purpose accelerator. So it's definitely about leadership, stepping up into your purpose, your unique purpose, with East Grays and Flow, like that's, that's really where you're at too. Sky gazing, sun gazing, stargazing, yeah, very, very powerful. Um, oh, Lionsgate. So I knew there was something here, right? Um, Lionsgate portal. We're in it. So this is probably everyone's feeling that and the goosebumps, truth bumps, um, because it's the Lionsgate portal and very connected to Egyptian energy and the land there at the moment. So that makes a lot of sense, right? Uh, what what is that? Periodes? I'm not sure. Oh, on the way around the 11th and the 13th, and I think our new moon is. Where are we today? Our new moon's this weekend, so well Sunday, Monday night next week. Yeah, definitely makes total sense, right? All right. Another yes pleases. You're so welcome, Catherine. Hi, Monique. It's happening with ease, grace, and flow. Phew. Yes. <laughs> exactly right. All right. All right. I'm just going to get rid of this person on here. All right, so I'll wait for some yes pleases. Definitely feeling it. That's awesome. Stargazing will definitely do. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. So welcome. Okay. So who's next? Ooh, we're diving deep in this one. I want to say deep into the dark. When I say dark, I mean the subconscious. We're diving deep into the subconscious, into the deepest recesses of your mind. 
where you are not yet conscious of what's surfacing and um, of what, lack of what, oh, what's the word, lack of what is ready to surface and become conscious, yeah? Um, we are using, okay, this one, Jackie Plant. Okay, I feel like you're living in a pile of regret. Um, so, Jackie Plant, a pile of regret. Like, so the, the cards that I just pulled is like five of cups. Like, look at all that spilt milk, so to speak. But your spilt milk is valid. The emotions are valid about what you're feeling, what's going on for you. Um, so, this... Yeah, so a lot of like, can you, um, so Jackie Plant, can you please let me know, like, if you're feeling like, are you feeling like death warmed up? Are you feeling like barren? Are you feeling like, where to next? And what do I do? And I feel like, I want to say, I feel like you're very successful. I feel like you're very clear in what you do. Um, in your work or something like your career or whatever it is that you do. But I just feel like, I don't know if you've just gone through a relationship breakup or something is like flawed you out of the blue or, you know, I just feel like there's something like, yeah. Um, and if you have gone through a relationship breakup, like, was it nasty? Like, I feel like you've gone through a really side swipe situation. You're just like, what the fuck just happened here? Like, where did this come from? And it feels like it was very out of the blue. It feels like you were just oh, speechless in a way, right? Um, yeah, okay. Um, you said yes, you are. Because these cups that have fallen over, like that's the emotions that have fallen over. Like, But I just feel like it's just like jaw on the gr ground, just like, what the fuck's going on here? Like, And just, I want to say you feel like you're paralyzed in a way of just like, you're still in shock about it, but you're also coming into like the dry barren land of like, what do I do now? Like, where do I go from here? Everything is like cracked and just, oh wow, Denise, that's big. Your sister's now with your ex. Like, and you're just like, Ugh. yeah, it definitely feels like that. Um, yeah, sold your home and lost a lot. Okay, perfect. Thanks for letting me know. Um, because the barren desert, like, so you've got the Ten of Swords. It's like the barren desert, like the crows. And it's so interesting when I was driving home today or when I was walking back from the shop. Um, there was a crow. Uh, people have a lot of, I want to say negativity around crows because they feel like they're bad in a way, right? Or bring bad news. Um, but they also bring magic. Yeah, there's also a, a slate that is cleared, right? And even though, okay, and so I'm like, who's backstabbing you? Or does it feel like a kick in the guts? Obviously, it probably would, right? Um, so, and so what is your plans now? Like, where are you going to now? Or do you just feel like, I don't freaking know, and not like, we're just still trying to understand what's going on. Um, the hangman. So the hangman, it just feels like, you know, obviously everything's upside down. Um, I feel like there's something in this one. Just let me have a look here. So interesting, like the shadow, the suspended monkey. What's this like the shadow series? Like the shadow, I think this is the extra cards. I have a feeling. Added bonus cards. Oh, but this is the hanged man. Hang on a sec. Tarot is not my strongest point, but energy is. <laughs> And I can read whatever. But I just want to see what's here. Because, yeah, it's upside down. Like, your life's been turned upside down, but there's something else here, there. Okay. All right. So, this can happen in all of our lives. And from time to time, we just need to stop and catch up. Like, let everything catch up. Um, this is what the Hangman card is telling us. This is all about time and our relationship with it, but also knowing that quality takes time and your best work best work and decision-making is something that only you know and should not be forced. Um, I just feel like there's more information coming and the stab in the back, right? Um, so, uh, Sylvia, they're frequency patches. Um, so, yeah, I had a healing session and frequency patches just help 
shift the energet energetics a bit like acupuncture but not in a way to try and describe it um so yeah not sure where to go or what to do workers floored me something major happened yeah okay and this is where i'm just like jaw on the ground and so i feel like this is like i want to say just let it all unfold just let it all crumble feel all the feelings that we've been talking about tonight um today wherever you're listening to around the world and like the hangman there's so much meaning to this card but i feel like like let all the emotions tip out like if we're hanging upside down just let it all come out like you're shaking yourself upside down like do you know what i mean like get it out sort of thing but the dry barren land because see how it's like on the cracked floor right the cracked desert same with this cracked desert there's a lot of um there's a lot of uh what's the word there's a lot of crumbling going on around you right now and the backstabbing because that's when you said workers floored you something major happened i'm like someone stabbed you in the back like there's ten of swords right there's so many meanings to this card but look at all those stabs in the back right I just feel like let's kick her while she's down is the energy um and then the two of swords which is the scorpion it's like yeah somebody's about to yeah um so this feels oh sorry this is the five of swords did i say that um and so this is a very kind of darkish deck right but when we're looking at and this is what i just said when i picked up this deck and i was like whoever this card is for i'm like when i say dark this is your subconscious we are diving into the deepest aspects of your subconscious the deepest crevices right the deepest crevices look at all these crevices opening up whoops this one the crevices opening up right the deepest crevices of your subconscious is cracking open right now that feels like death warmed up it feels like people are out to get you it feels like kick her when she's down it feels like everything is spilling over everything that we've built right these strong cups everything that we've built is just it's just fall right over now, I know that doesn't sound very positive. Okay, let's just pull. I'm just going to leave these ones out. Let's pull another one. This is what I said about this deck. I said this is... I said it before I even chose you, right? I was like, we're delving into the deepest crevices of his subconscious for who this is. And it was like, check it. And the reason I'm sharing that, is, again, is because... Um, oh, I wondered if I was... I saw this before I freaking pulled it in my, in my three eyes. <laughs> um... <laughs> this check out this card um is it going to get better yeah this is where i was um pulling another card for you so when we're like looking at the cracks right the desert cracks dried out like i want to say that that's been a hardened shell so when i'm talking you know when i'm talking about like the cracks in the desert like on the mud the mud flats like you know how they crack like that um even this one's got it. There's two cards of it. All the cards, right? Um, so that's been a hard shell, right? So like all of this has been a hard shell. It, it's been like smoothed over and hard. And now it's cracking. What did I say before on this live stream? Oh, what does it say? The crack is where the light gets in. I don't know if that's the right saying, but it's that, right? And so now everything's cracking open pulled another card for you because this is what is happening this is the alchem alchemy the alchemical matter <laughs> the alchemical mother the alchemist mother the one who transforms um dust into gold <laughs> pretty much dust of the cracks and all the desert stuff you're you're in a space right now and you might not feel this just yet okay but this is what's coming when you say is it gonna get better i'm like yes but it's it's you're walking through like the battlefield right now right and you're just like i don't want anything else to happen right what's happening is everything is like cracking away and the alchemy alchemistic mother the alchemy mother look she's got a i think this is like this is a phoenix this is the empress right i think that's representative of a phoenix and i literally saw it before i pulled this card for you um Book. Hang on. We're diving deep tonight, guys. This is a deep live stream, deep in the subconscious. So the Empress, 35 to 40. 
I'm pretty sure from memory that this is the Empress, the Alchemy Mother, Alchemy, Alchemy Mother, <laughs> Alchemy Mother. Um, need to go through the dark shitty times in order to see the light. We need to crack open the barriers around our heart to experience the love and abundance, right? We might've been living that, but something along your soul's path is like, it's time to shift this. Yeah. Um, something was stagnant. It's time to crack it open. As I always say, we need to like, when we're cleaning out a cupboard, all the stuff gets pulled out and it's a great big mess. And we're like, this goes, this stays, this goes, this stays. And then we put it all back together. Um, a new life is created in the dark Look at the baby in the womb right so you have to remember that through all these changes you're birthing a new reality but for a while you're not going to see what it looks like yeah um and that's sometimes hard and hence why i say get mentor support right this is what i work with my clients through the hardest part yeah i'm like the transition queen <laughs> i help you through the hardest darkest places because this is my gift yeah um, so 21 day shifter program is the best kind of little incubator to really support you in the hardest times, right? So the Empress is what it says. Empress is one of my most favorite and cherished cards in this tarot. Um, in the tarot, this is the author as an artist and creative. I often see this card pop up around me, particularly when I'm working on new creative projects. Um, I have a few tarot decks, but to me, it's not about the number of decks. It's about the quality of the ones I connect with and the ones that speak to me most. It's about the ones that understand me and merge with my energy at the best at different times and phases of my life journey. So I feel like, and whatever, whatever's happened at work, sometimes it can floor us the most because we were like, is that how you really think about me? Is that what <laughs> all this time that's, that's how you really think about me. And I'm covered in goosebumps as I say this. And I feel like that can be the, the shock. Like right now, I feel like you're almost still here. Like the cup has been knocked over and you're just like, ah, you know, when we spill something and we're like, ah, usually we rush in, but there's a moment where we're like, ah, right. And we're just like, how did that just happen? Right. And so, um, and that's where I feel like, you know, with all these knives in your back and whatever. Um, and so I would definitely be working with my sponge clearing. Do you have my sponge clearing meditation? It's in my clear and activate pack. It's free. Um, and so there's four meditations in there. There's video trainings in there. Make sure you go through and watch those video trainings so you can understand how to use them. At the moment, the sponge clearing is going to be the most supportive for you um, to get these knives out of your back, like physically, like metaphysically, like psychic attack physically. Okay, now people don't sit there and throw physical, um, metaphysical knives at you. Metaphysical knives and psychic attack and psychic axes and all the spears and everything that's thrown at you that can be lodged literally in your back psychically, like energetically. So if you have physical pain after you've been through a situation like this, it's so important to clear your energy like over and over and over again. Sponge clearing is really powerful at helping with this sort of thing um, because, you know, like they don't know they're doing it, right? doesn't excuse it, but just what I'm trying to explain. It's not that they're physically throwing metaphysic you know spears and stuff at you it's the gossiping it's all the stuff that goes on when they think you can't they can't you can't hear them <laughs> we're feeling it uh-huh and if we tune in to physical pain when we're in these situations the first thing you want to ask is like is this mine what is this archangel michael 100 percent light please remove it and you do the sponge clearing and then you meditate because that's going to strengthen your energy so that you're not weak and dry and cracked out okay so important let me put the link in for the clear and activate pack for those of you who don't have it. Um, highly recommend. Like I said, it's free. It's called a clear and activate pack. There's four meditations specifically for a reason. Again, make sure you go through the training videos because I explain why, what, how, why we use them in a certain combination, all that sort of thing. So let me just grab this and pop that in. And then we'll finish talking about this alchemy um, alchemal, alchemal mother. <laughs> okay. So this one, um, let's just see, there's something I want to talk about here. So you have to remember that like you're, you're in the mother birthing, like gestating phase, if that makes sense. The darkness, you can't see what's going on yet, but you're in that womb, so to speak. Your life is in that womb. Um, so, Okay. Whilst creating this deck, she became the alchemic mother of Algoliath Tarot. 
suits so like the overlying card for the whole deck in a way right it's amazing this one came up after those darkest cards right in a way um the empress is the embodiment of femininity beauty sensuality fertility expression and nurture the empress is calling on you to reconnect with your five senses and get more in touch with your body and so it's interesting when i said about this for you and i'm like this is the cracking like it, it was hard and solid and you didn't even know and this is why it's been such a shock with all these cups falling over all these things like disintegrating in your life and the cracks of appearing right because this wants something is trying to birth out of you something is is I want to say, it's not that you're going on a wrong path. I'm like, something new is birthing out of you. But in that birthing, in that gestating phase, everything is changing. And we're like, what's going on here? <laughs> All right. It's like constantly changing and we can't control it. The baby just grows. Right. So yeah, super important. Um, just seeing if there's anything else. So I guess lots of care. So if you look at yourself and what's going on in your life right now, as a birthing mother, you're going to need extra sleep. You're going to need extra nurturing. You're going to need extra care. You're going to need all these things, right? And if you look at yourself like that and everything that's happening in your life, you can be a bit gentle and still like, you know, drop into those spaces of like, oh my God, what's happening in my life? Like, why is this happening, etc. But don't get caught in that. Allow yourself to drop into the grief that comes alongside of the, I don't know what's going on anymore, because that's going to help you to shift through it, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so deep, deep, dark stuff. Yeah. Yep. Spot on. Yeah. Huge for you right now. So I'm sending you so much love about all of that. Um, so Meg says, just remembered you be the perfect person to ask last night. I swear someone was in my cupboards and threw a coat hanger against the wall. I thought it was my kittens, but they weren't in there. Open the cupboard and the hanger was on the floor. Then whoever it was, was gone. Yeah. The veil's very thin at the moment so i just spoke about that earlier on the live stream that it feels like the veils are thin and the past week i feel like we've shifted uh dimensions we've shifted frequencies and it feels like planes coming down to land but the you know like when you feel the mechanics of the wheels coming up but the snort but that's the feeling of it there was the largest rec um, earthquake on record last week um at the end of july on the 29th of july 30th of july um and like the biggest one on record and it, it, I want to say it rocks the world like it rocked a full plane and it came from deep in the earth so some deep stuff surfacing right now um probably in alignment with my live stream the other day when I said about Atlantis um rising the truth is surfacing like there's a lot of people starting to wake up going oh we're not playing this game anymore like there's big shifts happening on the planet so you have to stay anchored in that um and yeah so there's a lot lot happening veils are thin um, but I'd definitely be clearing my energy in my house. Um, you know, I just feel like there is um, a lot of veil thinning, thinning at the moment. So um, sealing up your house at night time with white lights. So when you go around and you shut the doors and windows and lock them or whatever, you're also sealing it with white light above and below and your perimeter of your property and all of that sort of thing. You can use the internal compass, um, which you can get in my clear and activate pack. And you can imagine your house with its own internal compass. And that kind of extends out and creates like a barrier force field shield, you know, as you sleep as well. So you can just energetically protect your, your, your um, vicinity as well. Yeah. You can extend that out through your whole suburb, through your whole city, through your whole town, through your whole state. Clear the energy of everyone, like sweeping through. It's very easy to do. Yes. All right, guys. I'm going to love you and leave you. I see on my computer it says 222 comments and two shares. That's <laughs> all the twos. <laughs> oh, so no, I leave my windows open at night as well. Um, it's not bad. I think, you know, if you feel safe to do that, you can, right? But I just energetically, you know, put the white light on so then spirits can't come in. It's like, just like, nope, this is my space and I'm sleeping. So 21 day shifter program for July is 555. It is usually two and a half thousand. This is for August. Sorry, <laughs> we're in August. <laughs> we're celebrating five years of Tuesday Tarot in five years. I have not missed a single Tuesday. That is a lot of Tuesdays. So I'm deeply celebrating that. If you want the deepest support and the deepest um, container to be held and transformed through the darkest times of your life, this is my gift. Um, a lot of people come to me and they're like, 
counseling doesn't work, this doesn't work, and we shift stuff in the first 48 hours if they haven't shifted in an entire lifetime. That is my gift, that is what I am here to do, is to shift the deepest, darkest stuff so that you can rise and move forward with the clarity to understand what it is you're supposed to do now. <laughs> Sorry, um, I will put the link in again for you for the 21 day shifter program, and um, yeah, so no, five years, so many Tuesday tarot, <laughs> so many Tuesday tarot. Um, we also have the Shadow of the Archangels that has less than 48 hours to go. This is integrating the dark and the light. Um, so deeply coming into that space around the consciousness of each archangel is really what it is. So if you want to acutely um, grow your consciousness and your psychic abilities, integrating the dark and light aspects of each of the archangels is next level phenomenal. So we are journeying through that starting on the 1st of September. Early bird increases in less than 48 hours. Title, um, the link is in the title of this live stream for the Shadow of the Archangels, and I shall see you very soon. I love you guys. Keeping it real, as always.